guys. Oh my god. Okay, so hey guys. I have a haul from Ulta. My bag's over there, so I'm not getting it. But anyways, I'm gonna get started because I already filmed this and I forgot that I can't speed it up if I'm talking. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. But anyways, I'm gonna get started. The reason why I wanted to go in is because I wanted the Lady Gaga roll-on perfume because if I got a big one, it would take longer to go through. And I already have a big collection of perfume. They ended up not having the rollerball or the big version. So, I got Dot by Marc Jacobs. And, um, it smells sugary, yet floral. Um, if you have Ralph Lauren's Midnight Romance, the female version, it's pink and it has, like, a black squirrel in the middle. Um, not squirrel, square. I think I said squirrel. Um, it smells pretty similar to this. Um, also, Marc Jacobs' Daisy with the white background, not the black background. Sem smells kind of similar, kind of not. But yeah, I also went in because I wanted a palette. A specific one. I've been wanting this one for a really long time. Can you guys tell me what it is? Because I know it's all over YouTube. Um, this is Lorac Pro 2, and it comes with a little primer. The thing that kind of sucks about it, though, is because um, it's 42 bucks, and with Urban Decay, there's usually a primer or a lip gloss and a brush. Whatever. I don't need any more brushes, but whatever. Here's what it looks like. The top row, which is upside down in this instance, is um, all mattes. And the top row, which is actually the bottom row, is shimmers, satins, stuff like that. And what I realized after I filmed it originally is that on the back it says scan for tutorials because that's for like blackberries. And I know there's an app on, um, sorry, my brother just by and um he doesn't know I film YouTube videos so I'm gonna keep it that way. Anyways, this is for Blackberries and there's an app on a um on the iPhone. I don't know what the app is called, but you can scan it and it says scan for tutorials. So I thought that was kind of cool. It also comes with a I think this is a sample size um primer and um I mean this is still gonna last a pretty long time for a sample because I don't really I don't know why, I go through these pretty slowly, but anyways, I've been wanting this for a long time, so I finally got it, and uh, yeah, my mom paid for all this, just saying, as a disclaimer, and yes, I am spoiled, so yeah, any comments like that, okay, thanks, um, so I also got this Urban Decay eyeshadow, and this is called Bordello, that's what it looks like, I'll swatch it, it's really pretty. Um, the shimmer doesn't show up as much on camera. It looks kind of satiny, but there is some shimmer in it. Um, just very minimal. And I really like the packaging that, like, they updated it a while ago, but you could pop it out. I'm scared because last time I popped it out earlier, like, whoa, and, like, it went flying. There. <laughs> you could push it out and then comes into that and then they have palettes now which are $10 if you um, buy four of these um, the palettes only $10 but it's like almost $100 just for that that'd be 88 bucks because oh no we're 82 because yeah 82 and seven yeah 82 because it's 72 for four uh, single eyeshadows and then you have to put it in a palette that's 10 so that's 82 bucks um no, thank you. I'd rather spend 42 and then another 18. Thanks. That's 60. So I saved $22. But anyways. <laughs> um, so, I also saw this when I first walked into the store. This is my old um, face wash. I used to use this all the time. Uh, you could use it with the Clarisonic. You could use it with the knockoff Clarisonics. You could use it with the Scrubby. You could use it without. Blah, blah, blah. It removes makeup really well. This is an 8 ounce, but the reason why I got it in an 8 ounce is because it's for breast and cancer awareness. But if they did have a bigger version in breast care, it went <laughs> in breast cancer awareness, I would have gotten it because even in the big bottle, I think it was like 32 or 64 ounces, I went through that pretty fast. I went through that in like three months, and that is a big bottle. It was like that. And it was like that wide but I don't know I guess it's a good way to like bring myself back into purity but I really like it so I got that um so I lost my bronzer the one that you guys used to see in my videos yeah it's very orange it was by Urban Decay it was called um 
I think it was toasted. So I've been wanting this for kind of a while. Not like, oh my god, I need that, but like, why not? This is Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep. If you guys haven't know, uh, don't know already, it is made out of cocoa pepper. The reason why I got medium is because um, I do look paler without my foundation because it's not evened out, so you assume that I'm going to be paler. I don't know, that makes sense to me. Here's a comparison. Um, the, there's a milk chocolate one, which is cup, like maybe like two shades lighter. Um, I tried that like on here, like I rubbed it in and I did it like with my finger on this side with the medium, medium deep. And um, I just went with this one. It's a little bit darker. It's not going to make that big of a difference. Um, but if you are fair, I do suggest you go with the um, milk chocolate because I am medium, I think, in colors right now. Um, during the winter, I'm like light medium or light. So yeah, when, uh, I was going to get this eight cosmetics brush um it's the black like all black brush and it was a sculpting brush it was like around sixty dollars or something so it was like mom why don't i just get a brush for ten dollars because these are around ten dollars and these are real technique brushes and i've been wanting these for a really long time so when i saw them i got kind of excited and tried to convince her to get that and said she didn't want me to get brushes period okay so anyways i basically convinced her to get two for twenty instead of one for sixty I've been wanting these for a really long time, so I was kind of happy when I got them, but when I opened them, I was not very happy, because this looks a lot softer than it really is. It's kind of, like, it's not like it hurts, but it's, like, not soft. This one's kind of soft. This is, like, more of the buffing brush. This is more of a blush brush. But anyways, I've still been wanting these for a really long time, long time, so I'm still kind of happy, whatever. Anyways, um... I also saw this these nail things when I was over in the drugstore section, but this is just a nail uh, dotting tool by Essence. It has a bigger and a smaller side, and then I saw this by Essence as well. It's like a nail scraping pattern thing. I, for, I don't know what to call it. Like it's a stamping thing. I don't really like the tray, so I might get a tray from eBay for like a couple of cents because you can still use this on different trays. But basically, what you do, if you guys don't know. You put the nail polish for the design on, you scrape off the excess, then you stamp it, and you stamp it on your finger. And it's pretty cool. So, I got that. I've been wanting one of the stamping kits for a really long time. And only a few bucks, too, so it's cool. Then, I also got these Ardell Double Lux. These are the 206s in black. And, yeah. And these were $5.49. But then I went to CVS after, and these were 5 bucks by Makeup Academy. And um, I kind of like these better. I think I'll wear these on Halloween because these are not the kind that I would normally wear. I would wear these more normally. These are the Glamour Volume Boosting Lashes. But I must say the um, the example or the, um, what am I saying, example? The, oh my god, what is it called? I forgot. Whatever. The lash, like in my CVS, like the CVS I went to. I had like this card that shows like what the lashes would look like on you because it's like a clear plastic thing and you just put it up against your eye um that looked a lot thicker but when i got the like when i looked at these they still look really nice even though they're not as thick they look more lengthening than volumizing to me but i like that so the name is not accurate but i still like them they were still cheaper than our dell ones at ulta our dell ones at my cvs they are like 10.50 so I was kind of happy about that but yeah that's everything I got and I hope you guys enjoyed my haul because I did not enjoy filming it again but anyways uh this was for you to film it again and uh yeah I'll see you guys later and thanks for watching bye